Hello guys, Screwzilla here, I hope you're all well. Um, today I'm going to be comparing a couple of tanks quickly. Um, now, it's a bit of an odd one because you'd think the tanks that I'm comparing are not really that close because of their BR rank and also the fact that one has an autoloader. But that's actually why one of them is far less superior. Um, and it's oddly not the one with the autoloader. So it's the Chai Re 2 and the Chai To, the Type 4 and the Type 5. So the Chai To has, sorry, the Chai Re has the autoloader Type 5 um, cannon, the 75mm cannon. It's the same gun as the Chai To, except it is an autoloader variant. Um, so you'd think, well, that's really not going to make much difference because, you know, you've got a better rate of fire, you can fire more shots. The odd thing is, is the Chai To actually has a better rate of fire. Not much, but it is better. You've got seven shots per minute, whereas with the Chai Ri, you've got six. The big difference is, though, is with the Chai To, you have about seven shots per minute over a longer length of time. Whereas with the Chai Ri, it's more of a burst fire. Uh, imagine it like a machine gun. Um, but a machine gun where you have to load it manually. Um, that's kind of what it's like with the Chai Ri. So we're going to take the Chai Ri out for a quick test drive first of all. Well, actually, before we do that, we'll just show you the armour. Now, the one big difference with the two, um, the Chai Ri is taller. It has a much higher profile. Um, Armour-wise, they're very similar for the front. 76mm armour, 50mm uh, at the side sort of thing. Um, the Chai To, 75mm, 20mm, 75mm, 75mm, 50mm. So very similar armour. However, as you can see, when we switch between them, the Chai Ri has a much higher profile than the Chai To, which means you stand out more. The Chai Ri is also bigger. Um, not much, but it is bigger, and it is longer. Um, inside, you have the same crew. Um, the crew are much more condensed in the Chai To, so you are more likely to get one shot, however. So the Chai Ri does have that slight advantage of more spaced out crew. Um, speed, they're very similar. Acceleration, they're very similar. Turret rotation, that's where the Chai Ri is a little bit better again than the Chai To, but it's not by much. Um, the Chai To uh, turret rotation is 8.9, 6.9. So it, it is better, but it, it's not a huge amount, and they're both pretty bad, in all honesty. As I said, armor wise, they're very similar, but because the Chai Ri has a much higher profile, it is usually much easier to be hit, which is a big drawback. So let's take the Chai Ri out to a test drive first of all. Now the other thing the Chai Ri has is a 37mm frontal cannon, which you'd think is an advantage, but it's really not. Um, let me show you that frontal cannon in action here against that T26. Very hard to aim it because it's sort of it's central to the tank, so you have to be very much spot on. Um, if your tank is actually, say we manoeuvre our tank and we're sitting in this position, that T34 over there, we aim at it, we've got no chance of hitting it. Because it's at the front here, it's very hard to use. It's pretty much forwards only. You have to be pointing your tank where you want to shoot it. Also, it does not penetrate much in the game. Uh, at the tier, it's only got 44mm of penetration at 10, 10 meters, which, unless you're behind or at the side of a T-34 and you get a very lucky hit, you're not going to do much. So let's use this auto loader here and do some shots for you. So we're going to fire off now. get a kill. Fire off the T-44, get a kill. AB-2, we 
get a kill. That's three kills in about eight seconds, which is really good. But this is where it falls down, is the reload of the gun. So, for quick succession, this tank is amazing. It, it's the king of tanks in that sort of area, because the penetration of this gun is fantastic. Uh, 140, about 130 meters of penetration at most distances. The round is super impressive though. Um, it's almost 70 grams of TNT, and that's going to ruin most people's days. So, as you can see, we've absolutely annihilated the field. We've reloaded now. It takes around about 29 to 30 seconds to rearm the gun. And that is a big drawback when you're in a combat situation. So, as you see, we fire three shots, and then we're back to reloading. So, we're almost at the minute mark now. Um, we've had six shots fired, and we're rearming. Now, of course, we do have that terrible 37mm gun still, which, you know, if you can hit anything with that, then you're a genius. Um, but if you actually do any damage, then it's a miracle, because that thing is just hopeless. Um, it's good against AA vehicles and stuff like that, however, the AA vehicles will not be sitting in front of your tank. The other big drawback of this tank is the fact that the side machine gun doesn't work. So you only have a frontal machine gun. So, with a AAA vehicle, they will get around you very quickly. Any tank that can drive fast will get around you because of the slow turret rotation of these vehicles. And, of course, you can't do anything with the machine gun. So, let's pop back to the hangar now. And take out the Chai Tai. Now, these guns are, as I said, exactly the same. I do find that the... Um, aiming of the autoloader, the Chai Re, is actually a little bit off. It's not quite as comfortable as the um, Chai To. So, let's go for that T25. One dead T25. Now, the reload, we can see, takes around about, um, I think it's seven to eight seconds. Same penetration. But the big difference is here is instead of having to wait that time for it to rearm again, we've got our cannon back. And we are ready to fire again in a mere 8 seconds. So instead of having to wait 30 odd seconds to rearm, we've got our gun back and we can fire off a couple of extra shots. And that makes a huge difference. As you can see, this gun it just feels more it just feels better to aim as well than the autoloader. Um, without even checking I can shoot the uh, IS three I think it is off in the distance and usually hit it most times without even thinking about it. Um, it's much lower profile. Again, it has a machine gun at the front, which does not help things, and the turret rotation speed is very slow. It, it's still, it, it, it's still slow, um, but it's you know, it's not as bad as some of the Japanese tanks. Um, and again, because you only have the front-mounted machine gun, you're sort of buggered if anything comes to your side, which is a shame. Uh, it would be nice if that side machine gun worked. So let's take them out to a battle now. Okay guys, hey, how's it going? Screezilla. Let's try this again. So the Chai Re 2 and the HO, the, the uh, Chai To, so um, the Type 4 and Type 5. So as I was saying, um, the rate of fire is the big thing. So we'll take the Chai Re out first. 
Now we're playing in a custom battle against bots, so we're not really facing a proper enemy team here. Um, now, the main reason I'm doing this is just because it's easier to show, and also because I'm getting really weird lag lately with the game. Um, not sure what's happening, but it's an odd one. Um, so, we'll play this like it's a proper battle, not a battle against, you know, um, reserve tanks, which it actually is. So, the big thing with the um, Type 5 Chariot 2 is because of the rate of fire, it's awesome for small firefights. So, in an urban environment, or in an environment where you've got lots of cover, it can be really good. The gun depression's not great. So let's just zoom in into the gun depression here. Let's go up to the point here. And the gun depression wise, it's not that great. As you can see, pretty poor gun depression. So you can't do much ridge peaking or things like that. But it is really good for sneaking around and doing glass shots. Sort of if you get into a position where you can um, hide basically, like behind a building or somewhere where you can't get flanked flanked, it's really, really good. So, that's one of the benefits of it, and because of that auto reloader, the auto cannon, um, if you're in a position where you can hide behind the building, or get in a spot where you will not be shot at very easily, um, you sort of get into a camping position, then you're going to do really well in it because you can sort of take out tanks as they go past and cause a lot of damage. So, we'll come around here and the main thing is we just want to do some examples of this tank. So, in a realistic battle of course we wouldn't be going this fast, I would have more, more support, things like that. The other thing as well is you don't want to be leading in this tank. This tank is not a main battle tank. It's not a tank that you lead the charge in. Because you're going to end up getting in a lot of trouble because the armour is not there. So, as you see, with a shot, really easy to take out a tank. Um, now, you're going to one-shot most things in this tank which is great. And the time between shots is around about two to three seconds. But that's only for three shots. So you only have three shots in this tank. So, say we're coming around here, we've got two enemies coming in. Okay, the enemy's capping in A. So we better quickly swap that. We've got an M2A2 there. On fire. So that's our second shot. Now, We've got one more shot left. There we go. Now comes the long reload. This is where the tank drops from its fire rate. Also, as you can see, side armour is really bad on this tank. So if you get caught in a flank, you're going to have trouble. Um, it's very easy to get outflanked in this tank and outmaneuvered because you don't have that turret rotation speed, and it's a very slow tank to begin with. Which is very frustrating. So we finally reloaded. Target. We can take out three tanks here pretty much. But then we're back to that reload, and we're completely vulnerable. Now I do hear you saying, well, that's what the 37mm is for, and yes, it is kind of. But unfortunately, you need to be straight on with the enemy, because it has no turret rotation to it. Also, it's piss weak. Gunner's just been taken out there. As I said, the armour on this thing is pretty poor. So even against, you know,
reserve tank skill, we're getting our ass kicked from the side. Because simply we don't have that armor from the side and armor from the back. There we go, we're taken out by an M2A4. Straight through the side. So we managed to get six kills pretty easily. Let's go to the Chai Tow now. So the Chai Tow has got a standard gun. Now they're both the same gun technically. Um, the Chai Tow has got the Type 5. 75mm. The Chai Rhea has got the Type 5 75mm. The only difference is one is an auto loader, one is a standard loading turret. Now, the big thing with the standard loading turret is, well, you get more shots off per minute. Seven shots a minute you get. Whereas with the Chai Rhea, uh, Type 5, You'll only get six shots per minute. The other thing is I find this gun is a tiny, tiny bit more accurate too. Um, I tend to find this tank is very good on accuracy, which is very handy. Armor-wise it's the same, but the other thing is it has a much lower profile. The one bad point is your crew is much closer together. One benefit, you're faster. A little bit faster with these turret rotation. And because you've got that much faster sort of... Although you're not faster in reload, you kind of are because you're not constantly waiting for your, um, your magazine to be refilled. So, we'll come around the front here again. We're probably going to find a shit ton of tanks. So, we're in a bad position here again, so in a uh, proper battle would be shot at, we'd probably be dead by now. But, as you can see, because I don't have that big delay of the gun fully reloading, I can actually get a few more shots off than I would in the um, Type 5. So, although technically the Type 5, you know, is better, in its rate of fire. With very um, sort of circumstantial positioning. So your, your rate of fire is much better for the first three shots, and you can get those three shots off in a couple of seconds. But as soon as you get into a firefight where you need to be firing multiple times, and you need to keep up a rate of fire, the Type 5 is really useless, and you end up having problems because you just can't you can't keep up the rate of fire that normal tanks do, because you have that horrible um, uh, 29, 30 second reload time basically, and it kills the tank. Now, maybe Gaijin can sort of get it down, maybe a sort of 25-30 second reload would work better in that regard. Um, it might make it a little bit more effective. But, you've just got to wait so long for the gun to be back and ready to go, you're sitting duck most of the time. And you just, you, you basically just get absolutely owned. Um, unless you can find a position to snipe from and actually sort of hold a position where you're comfortably safe, your back is not going to be hit, and you're sort of in a position where you're not going to be, um, you know, outflanked every couple of seconds. You're going to be okay, but you need to find that spot where you're absolutely hidden. Um, if it's a large battlefield like uh, Ursk or... Um, anywhere with wide open flat spaces, even like this map, the factory map here, you're very, you're a very easy prey, because that reload time is just so bad, you sort of just, 
you end up sort of just being destroyed. And the 37mm gun is no use at all because it only has front shooting capabilities. So you only have frontal shoot shots coming for it. And that makes it really hard to use because unless somebody's dead in front of you, in which case you're pretty much dead anyway. Because the armor is only 75mm and pretty much every tank at uh, the R rating of 5 has a gun that's going to penetrate that. You just do not have the capability to defend yourself in that reloading. So, let's just uh, finish this off now with a coup de grace um, and get this over and done with. Um, this is why the Chaito um, Type 4 is the better tank out of the two because it's a much lower profile. The only real big benefit you get from the Type 5 Chai is the um, fact that your crew are so spaced out. But that is pretty much the only benefit of it. Um, you're basically a bigger target, easier to hit, and you can't hide nearly as well. Your gun is slightly less accurate as well. Um, as I said, this is from what I've found firing it. It doesn't feel as accurate as the um, non-auto loaders variant. And you have that horrendous loading time, which completely kills you. Um, I mean, because it's such a big tank as well, it's very, very easy prey, and it's just, it, it's just a pretty much a tank that gets destroyed after a few moments in a battle. And it's such a shame because it's such a cool idea, it's such a cool looking tank, it's such a cool um, sort of feature. You know, having an auto cannon, um, having that rate of fire, it feels like it's going to be beastly, but it really isn't. It's just, it's more of a burden than anything else. And that's the problem. I find using the Type 4 in, um, in a high BR battle, in a, in a, a battle where I'm fighting tanks of um, 5.7 to 6, I end up having a better game in this, the Type 4, than I do in the Type 5. The Type 5 just can't handle that kind of battle, um, especially when you're against, you know, very mobile, very well armoured tanks. You just don't have the ability to keep up the rate of fire and sort of keep, keep the enemy down. Whereas in this tank, although it is a slower firing rate per se, you do get more shots per minute. You get only one more shot per minute. But that's a big difference in a big firefight. And because you're not waiting, you know, so long to reload, you're just basically getting a lot more kills. And the gun is accurate enough and strong enough that you can sort of get those kills on heavily armoured tanks. You know, it's a beastly weapon and the round is fantastic. You know, when you're coming up against T-34s or um, even um, KV-2s, KV-1s, um, things like that, you really have no issue in this tank. So, between the two tanks I got six kills in the Chai Ri and 16 in the Chai To. Now, all fairness, the Chai To, um, I didn't have as many tanks around me as if the time wasn't flanked as much. But you can sort of see a difference in the way it played. Like, because it was such a big target, it's very hard to guard the whole area. Very hard to keep, to keep it sort of safe, basically. And the 37mm cannon on the front is just useless against everything. The only thing it's going to do is ping for a position marker. Um, in all honesty, if you're going to be using a tank in anything, in any 
fighting until you get to the uh, STA one um, and uh, things like that use the Chai To over the Chai Ri the Chai Ri is not worth it as I said the profile alone makes it a big target it's a big heavy tank it's a very easy target to hit the armor is no better um, you know the, the, it's the armor difference is the same on both tanks, but because you're a lower profile, you're not as easy to hit. Um, the the armor on this thing's terrible anyway. You, you're generally not going to bounce many shots, and you're going to be penetrated most of the time, especially when you come up against um, tanks in uh, five to five point three. Even when you're fighting in five point seven to um, six matches um, like I had a game a few days back where I was fighting IS uh, 122s and I was annihilating them in the uh, type 4 the type 5 I got killed pretty much straight away because I just didn't have maneuverability and I was just too too tall basically um, you've got that penetration on the gun to go through pretty much every spot on these tanks which is fantastic and you absolutely annihilate them um, because of the explosive mass even things like the T-44 um, you're gonna go through pretty much most of the armor spots on it where you would normally penetrate you sometimes have trouble with the frontal armor um, because you only have uh, you do course have a little bit of trouble with frontal armor um, but the Chai To is just the superior tank all in all it, the the 145mm penetration just gives you that absolutely perfect side penetration shot for it and you also get a few more medals and things like that of course because you're fighting tanks you know a whole one to two BRs higher than you um, which is weird, you would think that um, you're better off in the higher tier tank, but honestly, keep to the Chai To, don't use the Chai Ri. You're not going to have as the battles, you're going to lose more battles than you win between these two tanks. Okay guys, I hope you found this interesting. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, please, please mention anything you'd like to say as well. If you have an opinion on this as well, please let me know. Um, I'd love to know what you think on the, um, the discussion of this um, of this balance and of how the Chai Ri is not really worth the it, it's not it's not the game changer that it should be and could be um, when we all heard that we were getting an auto cannon um, we all thought oh my word the game is going to be over much like when um, ATGMs came out but this thing does not change that game at all. Maybe when some better auto loaders come out, I keep saying auto cannon, but auto loaders come out, we might get that change. But until then, I don't think we're going to see a difference in game, especially with the Chai Ri. Okay, guys, I hope you have a good day and a good new year. This is Squeezilla out, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.